Hey, it's your boy Smitty here at Mains and Crosses again. We're doing a overload of videos because I, I have a lot of catching up. So you guys, today video is brought to you by um, the amazing people at Wilson. Guys, thank you for the follows. If you uh, obviously enjoy what I do, please subscribe. If you guys are from the Instagram world, thank you so much uh, for, you know, changing up on me a little bit. But today we're going to talk about starting clans. Guys, uh, if you're a stringer, you're going to need a starting clan. That's kind of one of the basic things that you kind of need uh, starting off. Uh, even if you're just a beginner, I think it's uh, very actually more needed when you're a beginner because um, there's a lot of tricks that you can use uh, the starting clan for. Especially like if you're running out of string sometime, if you're a newbie, uh, when you're starting... Uh, uh, stringing you, you you don't know what length and I mean sometimes you pull short sometimes you pull long and if it doesn't reach your tensioner you're screwed so having a starting clamp will help that on out but today I do have something premium which is this yeah there you go everything's reverse Smith's getting his YouTube game on yes Corbin what's going on so um I am trying to get my YouTube on, but this right here is the masterful, um, as you guys know, the Kimoni uh, starting clamp. Obviously, I got the Primo, the Yonex, amazing, made in Japan starting clamp. Guys, this is um, this is the best money can buy, uh, even for this one. Uh, this is premium, guys. Um, there isn't anything else like this. Usually, you'll see a starting clamp that's red or whatever the hell color it may be, and there's a little prong on the side, and you squeeze it. And uh, what this does is um, literally how you can start your mains and start your crosses, guys. This is an amazing tool. Um, it retails for what? Two fifty on Kimoni's website. Obviously, this is Yonex, and you know, it's an amazing piece of work. And the great thing is, it acts like a um, a floating clamp, actually, or um, you know, a, a, cl a clamp, a fixed clamp in general. There's um, the one that I love about this is you can adjust this little knob right here, just like if you had um, a, a clamp on on a rail that slides. But this one is like a standalone, made out of premium metal. Um, and it's very sturdy, very strong. This is actually. If you just buy one, this is all you need for the rest of your life, obviously. But you can increase the tension of uh, different gauges, obviously. But you can finesse with this versus the starting clamp, which I always thought was very interesting. It has like, sometimes it has two or three spring coils there. And you basically have to squeeze so it opens up. And the spring makes everything close and chop like an alligator. But sometimes can just ghost the strings really badly. So with this one, I feel like you can finesse your touch. So you don't need all that much pressure to hold like 40 to 50 pounds. Maybe you're stringing up to 70 or something like that. Um, it, it might slip, but even with this, you can adjust all the way up and it can, it, 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 will, it will do it for you. That being said, it's an amazing sleek design. I, I, I give it all to the Japanese people because it's like, dude, they're, they're all about it. But this is a, your first look at it. And it's literally just like a uh, regular clamp but they made like a small version of it. As you can see, it pivots on that little metal piece and it's a two point action, it's like one and two and it just kind of clicks up. So as you can see, there's a spring in here that helps this lever work around in, 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 the, metal, in the middle plate. What that does is, when you, let me get a piece of string, maybe I still have one, one second. Yeah, with conventional starting clamps that you have, um, the conventional starting clamp where you get, man, I've been looking to start a, clamp, a starting clamp, but that's a lot more than I've had in the spending. Dude, Corman, I mean, obviously if you have it, spend it, but um, this one is, is really special. I want you to see that with this, when you clamp it, I want you to look through the thing, right, ready? Uh, let me try, oh man, it's hard. So you lock it in. S somewhat of the equal pressure between back and forth. See how it's straight? You can see between the back and the front. You kind of see that? They see that? That's what with a spring inside. It actually opens up a little bit inside. So it doesn't crush the string. With conventional, you know, chompers, if you had like a, a hinge, when you clamp this, let's say I, if I had a, it, the, this is a string and I, and I had to clamp it on another string. See how the points, this one's sharper on this one right here? It's a smaller hole than this opening here. And it will crush on one side because a little bit more pressure here, just squeezing at that end. However, with this, 
I feel like there's equal separation because there's a spring inside that makes this thing pivot. So yes, it looks like a V right now, but when you clamp it, look, it's almost like a straight line. So it bevels a little bit and holding it, instead of having a little wedge, it's holding it parallel or as parallel as possible, um, causing um, the string not to ghost or have any issues with it. I could do this at a lower, as you can see, a straight linear line in there. Versus if I had a clamp, it would it would be it would look like this, right? So it's an amazing amazing clamp, guys. I recommend it so much. And um, a little background story about this was I didn't even buy how much one of these cost, dude. They start off. At, I mean, you can go on Kimoni's website and find it out. I think it's Kimoni, KimoniSports.com, and um. It starts at I think two fifty, I think it's two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars. This is all you'll need. Um, you see these two? Uh, so, oh, oh, let me do some functionality. Right? These two slides. Yikes! I know, I know. You can still get the Babala or, or the Technifier for like a hundred or less than a hundred bucks, like seventy five, eighty bucks or whatever, and those are fine too. Other function. <laughs> um, this is what I was talking about a cable or um. um how to tether it basically. You know, maybe sometimes you're short, let's say you have a string and it's like very short and it doesn't hit to the tension head. You can use this as an extender or a bridging. So when you close down the cap, this will grab onto the um, tension head. This is to your string and it can pull together. So this, this helps with that too, which is amazing. Uh, I haven't found the use for this bottom one yet, but I figure there'll be some pretty cool use for that. But, um, Nope, I thought it was a hole, but it was not. But definitely, um, this can be used as a um, a bridge when you are running short. That being said, the story background of this is, is amazing, guys. This is this has been the hand of the greatest, guys. If you don't know, I'm I'm here locally here in the DC metro area, and um, you know who else lives here? The infamous Albert Lee, guys. Give it a clap, Albert Lee. You're amazing. Uh, I did a small little favor for him this summer, and. Dude, I didn't, wasn't expecting anything. I went to his house. Um, I met him. I, I watched him in action, and it looks amazing. He's a very knowledgeable person among the strings and, and machines, uh, especially with rocket, racket modification. Guys, you guys know when P1 has an issue, you know where he goes to? Albert Lee. So Google him out. Go, write Albert Lee. Write Technofiber Albert Lee. There's an article about him on Tennis Industry, and you'll read all about his amazing adventures. He's a multiple Grand Slam stringer. And... Um, this was his personal one. No BS. This was his personal um, starting clamp. And um, it was a day later. I was telling him about the, the Kimoni starting clamp and how much I, I, I would love to have one. Just, you know, it, it, would I have bought one? No. However, now that I have one, if I was ever to lose it or need to buy a second, would I have bought it for 250 bucks? Yes, yes, yes. I would spend that much. However, Albert had a couple lying around. And he's just like, dude, uh, I, I had this lying around my house. Let me just send it to you. And... Look, it's an amazing, amazing machinery. Like this is basically been used a couple of time, but for me it's new. But this was a gift from the master. This is like getting a gift from Yoda. Dude, this is like receiving the lightsaber from freaking Master Yoda, basically, and um, and, uh, I have him to thank for it. He opened my eyes, and uh, if you guys don't know, Giffy is my uh, my partner here, and my wife, she does stringing also, and she knew off the back this was the Premium Plus. So, guys, it doesn't get any better than this. Here's a first look at it. It's smooth, it's slick, all you have to do is clean it. Basically, treat this just like a, a clamp on your, your string machine, guys. If if this had, it was if this was on a rail and it swiveled, it, you won't feel a difference, because all you do is just close it and open it. Close it, open it. Amazing, amazing. So once again, a good look on the um, Yonex or the Kimoni starting clamp. Amazing, amazing. Toyozuki, if you guys don't know who that is, you guys gotta wake up. Um, obviously Toyozuki does all the crazy work for the machines. Um, and that's for another story, obviously. He does the machine for um, Yonex. And there's so many crazy, amazing stories um, that I have and I love to share with you guys. But tonight, if you love the story and love our little uh, preview here about the Kimoni starting clamp, uh, hit the subscribe button, follow, like. Uh, please follow along with my Instagram journey because I'm going to be there pretty much a lot. I do a lot of photos, a lot of videos here and there that it doesn't really fall upon the um, Instagram. But 
uh, doesn't fall on the YouTube platform, but Instagram does. So piggyback on fourth. I mean, if you're just looking for a quick tidbit, come to see Mains and Crosses on uh, Instagram. Uh, but that makes some stringing videos. Dude, I will. I will. I, I, I'm on it, man. That being said, if you guys see my journey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Deuce. Have a good night. And how do I stop this?